Hi guys! Today for breakfast, I'm trying out this new pancake mix from Trader Joe's. It's strawberry with white chocolate chip cookie. I'm usually not a big fan of strawberry just because like the fruit is not very sweet. And I'm not usually, I'm also not a fan of strawberry flavor just because I do feel like it tastes artificial. But I do like white chocolate. It's one of my, it's my favorite chocolate. And I heard great things about this pancake mix. So let's go give it a try. All right, check out this gigantic pancake. I think it's ready. Okay, let me see this one early. Ah, no! Okay. Um, I guess I can still eat this part. Ta-da! It's actually pretty bad because if you look on the other side, it's completely burned. Even for this one, ah, the other side is burnt. But I can still salvage the side that's not. I don't know, I just feel like pancake is just so hard to make. You just really have to have like some sort of cooking skill and make sure the temperature is right. Mm. It's not bad. It just tastes like strawberry. I mean, it definitely would taste a lot better with whipped cream. I don't have whipped cream either. I feel like I like did not come prepared. But I'm trying to see if I can taste the white chocolate. Yeah, so you can see the white chocolate here. Mm. Oh, yeah, I think it tastes pretty good with white chocolate because the pancake is a little bit sour because the strawberry taste and the white chocolate kind of just like balances it out so Trader Joe's used to have a pancake it's my favorite pancake of all time it's the coconut flavor I'm gonna insert an image here so you can see but they stopped producing it so I was only able to eat it for like a few months and I honestly that one tastes good even if you just eat the raw flour mix you just saw uh, I don't know, I just really like coconut flavor taste. It tastes very like milky, but they don't have it anymore. And I just could not find it anywhere. Like I tried Amazon, like anywhere initially, they, some people have some and they, they sell it through Amazon. But now it's been a few years, they just stopped having, they just stopped producing them. And I feel like they released it at a time when coconut flavor wasn't a popular taste. If they release it now, I feel like it's gonna be a big hit. Yeah. So the white chocolate cake is really good. Alright, I'm gonna eat and go to work. I'll see you guys later. 6 30 a.m. morning walk. So here you have Lucky and Chili. Lucky pulling on Chili's leash or vice versa. And here you have Jasper just strolling by himself. So these days Chili Lucky really got into just pulling on each other's leashes. It's one of an activity they do in the morning to tire themselves out. I'm not really complaining. And since it's really early, there's no one in the park, so they have the whole park to themselves and they can just run around off leash. Here you have Jasper. Jasper is the only boy we have. He's not really interested in playing with the girls. And he pretty much just does things on his own, like exploring. These days, the dogs know that when I go to work, so they actually don't wait for me at the door anymore. Usually, before I go to work, I just tell them shang ban ban, like that means going to work in Chinese, and they know, and then they just go to the go on the sofa and just lie there and rest. And they have this super depressed face because they know I'm leaving. So on the weekends, I always host open houses. This open house is in the city of Orange. And everything you see here is part of staging, so the owners already moved out. And the reason they stage it is just because it looks very similar to a model home and it just appeals a lot more to buyers who are coming to look at the home. Also, I always like to host in a home with furniture just because you can actually like relax or sit on the sofa or chair. And when they're staging, people will actually stay a lot longer in the house and ask you a lot more questions. So it's just a good way for engagement. 
I had a lot of uh, neighbors and buyers coming in. I would say roughly around 40 families for the weekend. After work, Frank and I went to this Korean barbecue place. So I highly want to recommend this place. We came right when they first opened around two years ago and it was just very very good we told ourselves that we would come back and we never did just because usually if we're driving the direction of LA it's usually for sushi not really for Korean barbecue but we just really crave Korean barbecue and we thought about just coming back to have it a try again and still it's very good you can tell the meat quality is very good and the taste is very juicy the entire time you do have a staffs who serve you so it's just to make sure everything is cooked to the right temperature which is really nice this place also has great side dishes and one of my favorite this dish is the marinated crab and the cold noodle so this is all that we ordered at the end they have a promotion going on so if you leave a good review they actually give you s'mores so obviously i wrote them a five star review and they give us uh, marshmallows to toast I haven't had s'mores since elementary school, so it was a pretty fun experience to make. My parents' friend went back to China for a month, so occasionally every weekend, Frank and I will come over to check on the cat. So the mama cat actually just gave birth. We only, every time we come over, we will feed the mom, and this is her oldest son, some uh, shrimp paste, and this is the third cat they have. The neighbor kids will come over every day to feed the cat and also to change up their litter box. But the mom and the son are very interactive. This, I don't hang out with cats a lot, but I want to say they're very sweet and cuddly. Like the mom and the son will actually approach me for some just like pet on the head. Yeah, but their owner should be coming back soon, like in a few days. So yeah. Here you have the mom, she always guard in front of her babies. So Chili Lackey always really like to play with sprinklers. They have actually broken quite many. I don't usually let them play, but I haven't had the chance to walk them. So I just uh, use this as a way to tire themselves out. Yeah, also when they play, I prefer when they play in the morning just because when they get wet, this late at night, they stay wet for a long time because especially Lucky, she has really thick fur. Oh, here you have Jasper. Jasper is starting to play. Jasper usually doesn't like water, but I guess sometimes he's just curious what the girls do. It's pretty funny because, well, summer just hit. So usually we close the sprinkler head in the winter and in the summer we reopen and they always set off at the same time. So every night, Lucky will just go behind my back and then go play with the sprinkler and come back all wet, looking like a sea lion. All right, good night, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.